Welcome to the recovery show with Bernie Z, that's me. Today, I'm taking a break from the steps for a moment to talk about Abilify. That is a med that is detrimental to people who have addictive natures, um, specifically compulsive gamblers, um, specifically people who have never gambled before that take it and start gambling. Um, but broadly speaking, it is a med that can be helpful, but it can also be very damaging. And it's very, very clear from the fact that it has been acknowledged in Europe and in Canada on the, on the uh, warnings that uh, Abilify has a tendency to affect the compulsive gambling aspect and that it actually can cause you to do that. It's actually listing, listed on the side effects as a side effect that it, can cut, that it can drive you to compulsive gambling and other addictions, um, but specifically compulsive gambling. That said, I want to talk to you a little bit about my experience, experience with Abilify, which lasted 10 days. Here's what happened. I have been on depression meds for a very long time, uh, probably close to 10 years or more, well, actually more than 10 years. And at one point after the compulsive gambling was wrapping up and I was in my recovery and fighting the addiction while working at a convenience store selling my addiction, which was scratch off tickets, um, apparently it was noted that I was still having some significant depression issues. And my ex-wife encouraged me at the time to go on a Billify as an added med. In talking to the doctor, we went on the Abilify. After 10 days, I was off it. And I'm going to explain why. Here's what happened. I had my compulsive gambling urges pretty much under control with, with the mental things I had learned to, to control it. <clears throat> so I was not <clears throat> eager to gamble. But upon getting Abilify in my system about 24 hours, 24 to 36 hours into the regimen of Abilify, <clears throat> I began to have increased compulsive gambling urges. Now, I've never been one for, for casinos and other types of gambling of that nature, but on Abilify, I suddenly had the urge to go to the casino. And not just the urge, but the urge to the point where I would think about driving there as I'm going to bed and when I was waking up. So within 36 hours of going on it, I went from having my urges under control um, fairly well and knowing where I was going to having these urges in my head continuously and at an accelerating pace, a tenfold increase in the urge to gamble, which made it very difficult to fight. Now, that can, I figured, well, maybe it's just a, a, a fluke. I continued on it for almost 10 days. It, at the end of 10 days, I said, enough is enough, and I stopped it. Um, it took about 24 to 36 hours. Those urges were back down to normal. I was put on another med called Pristique in the meantime. And on Pristique, once I got on Pristique, in the same 24 to 36 hours, I had a tenfold decrease in the urges. It was more manageable. It allowed me to think clearly about how to use the processes I had developed to avoid those urges. It helped me control the gambling. Now, that's a big, drastic difference, if you think about it, um, <clears throat> to go, going from a compulsive gambler in recovery with depression issues, taking a depression med that had the urge but not the desire, to going on to Abilify and not only having the urge and desire, but having it overwhelmingly uh, occupy the mind thought within... 24 to 36 hours, and continually increase to a tune of tenfold, minimum of tenfold increase in that urge that could have very well cost me um, a relapse, which it didn't, 
but it's because I was aware of my addiction and I'd already started some other things to avoid that, which means that the depression aspect of it was what was being treated with the Abilify, and when I saw that what it was doing to the gambling aspect, because I was already aware of the gambling and I was already aware of dealing with it, I was able to fend it off, but it was very, very difficult. I came real close to a relapse, and that scares a person who's in recovery when they know what it can do. Now, like I, as I said, not only did it have a tenfold or more increase in the urges, but it was clearly there. And Abilify does have acknowledgement in in Canada and the and uh, the European Union of having this a side effect. However, in the United States, it is not on there, and it is one of the highest um, and most profitable profitable meds for a for the company that makes Abil for the company that makes Abilify and, pr and puts it out there. Um, <clears throat> it also goes by Abilify Aripiprazole, um, which it's supposed to help with depression, but like I said, the one or two things that they don't put on there in the United States that probably should be are not. Um, back to that 10-day period. 10-day period, I go off the med, I start having, having those feelings go down after about 12 hours or so, I started feeling a little bit better about it. It wasn't down to where it was before Abilify, mind you, but I had gone to the doctor pretty close to immediately and asked to go on a different med and to drop the Abilify. And I dropped it like a hot potato because I was not about to go on there and have it continue. Because when, especially when I noticed that missing, that uh, not taking the med dropped that drastically within such a short period of time. Now, when I went on to the Prestige, as I said, the Abilify, once that stuff started coming out of the system, I started getting back down to normal. Prestige into the system. And I'm slightly above normal when the Prestige hits. Okay, the prestige hits, and within 24 to 36 hours, I am tenfold the opposite direction to a helpful aspect of it. So I want to make sure people are aware. Abilify, well, it may be a good med for many for depression and for the uses it has, is not notified in the warnings for everyone, and people are not aware clearly of the effect. Um, that it can actually cause you to have an increase in gambling effects. Now, I, in recovery, I've also talked to many other people um, who, and it's after they brought up the, the fact that they went on a bill and all of a sudden they had this weird sense that they were going to, that they, that they wanted to gamble. And a number of them had commented about relapse and relapse with, 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 with a passion. I mean, I heard some people talk about, they went on a relapse 36 hour binge at the casino within a few days of being on Abilify. Um, things of that nature. And what I'm saying to, to people out there is if you are on Abilify and you are recovering compulsive gambling or not, but you have started gambling because of it or you have increased urges, contact the, or go to the link that I have below, contact the attorney, talk to them, tell them your story. Um, if you know somebody that, that has that has uh, lost things, lost their livelihood, lost their lo lost their life, any of that stuff, in respect to compulsive gambling, and they were on Abilify, and it was not something that was a prominent thing prior to Abilify, or even if it was something that was part of the part of their their um, nature before, but it was worse after Abilify. I encourage you to contact the attorney and talk to him. They are working on trying to do something to help people that have been affected by that. And quite frankly, I would love to see some action taken to take care of that problem. It's it's a huge thing. When 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 I run when I found out that the, the issue and, and within a within a few months afterwards heard of 10 other people that had the same experience but only only worse because they went into a relapse some having had one two three years of clean time it really concerned me and today having talked to the to the to this individual that's that's working on this 
and that knowing that there's an, an a movement going trying to make sure that this warning gets on there and that that there's restitution for those that have been damaged by the med and I repeat damaged by the med even though it may help your depression if it's causing you to do something in that nature um, I would strongly encourage you to go to the link I sent it'll explain the situation and go from there I encourage you though stop Abilify and find another med if you have a gambling problem or if you are potentially able to have if you have an addiction in your background and you are on Abilify and you're starting to feel like you might want to gamble or other things get off the med talk to your doctor consider talking to them about trying Pristique it is the med that I went on afterwards that had the opposite effect it is a much um, more effective med I take it once a day. It's an expensive med compared to Abilify. But if a, if the makers of Prestige would do the research, they could very well have a med that would be approved for the gambling addiction and work in similar ways as to what would happen with, with um, meds that are used to help with other addictions. Um, Again, I encourage anyone who has taken or is taking Abilify, A-B-I-L-I-F-Y, to make sure to check out the, the site below and find out if maybe the Abilify might be causing you problems. Thank you.